Making your cabinet base. Begin by following your step-by-step -step plan to create your cut list. Get all the material from the instructor and cut your pieces to exact size. Start by rip cutting your pieces on the table saw and then cross cutting them to exact length. Now go to the dado saw. Set the cutter head so that it is 3 8 inches above the throw plate. And set the fence so that only 3 8 inches of the cutter head is sticking out from the face of the fence. With a scrap piece in the miter gauge, you're going to cut a 3 8 deep by 3 8 wide rabbit in both ends of your front and back piece. Now, at a 3 quarter inch stock, cut four 3 inch by 4 inch pieces. You're going to go to the pocket hole machine with the instructor and you're going to cut pocket holes on two edges of each piece. Now clamp up your base like the photo posted in the shop. We're going to use pocket hole screws to attach the four corners of our base. Now turn over your base and on the underside, take your pre-cut half inch by half inch piece of lumber, glue and nail it into the four corners. The next day, cut off the proud parts on all four sides and lightly sand the top to make sure that it is flat and smooth. Using glue and masking tape as a clamp, glue in small pieces of lumber on the outside four corners of your base. The next day, remove the tape and using a handsaw, cut off any proud parts. Sand all four faces smooth, making sure that the lumber you glued in is flush with the plywood. Now, using a countersunk clear hole bit, drill countersunk clear holes into the four corner pieces. Through these holes is how we are going to attach your base to your cabinet. This concludes this video. Let's get in the shop so we can get back to building.